All right, we've got a classic tale of uh, David versus Goliath for you now. And we're going to talk to, on one side, our next guest company, uh, an up-and-coming hip coffee shop chain right in Manhattan, opening its first location today, right across the street from the Goliath, the massive coffee maker, Starbucks. So how does a small chain compete with a giant? Joining me now for this week's Small Business Big Ideas is Gregory Zamfotis, president and CEO of Gregory's Coffee. Thanks very much for being with us. So it's 2006, you, open a, uh, you graduate law school, and then you decide, I'm not going to be a lawyer. That's correct. I, uh, you know, I grew up in the food service industry and uh, never really thought I was going to be opening my own shop this early of an age. But... Uh, Law school wasn't really for me, so I uh, came back to my roots and decided to open up a coffee shop, and since then it's just been working out right. really well for me. Now, when you go up against Starbucks, I mean, the idea uh, is even when there's a dominant uh, guy in the category, there are other customers who want something different. So that helped you start this chain. You're now up to your sixth store. My understanding is you can invest like $250,000 to open a store, million dollars in revenue a year. But what are some of the secrets to competing in the shadow of giants? Let's, uh, l let's go with some of your rules, because we asked to come up with three rules, and you came up with the rule number one you said was uh, be different but not too different tell us about that that's correct so um, you know we pick a few different things that we want to do that highlight what makes us a little bit different from Starbucks uh, our tagline is actually see coffee differently so we're always looking for new and interesting ways to prepare coffee so um, you know for example we do a cold brew iced coffee as opposed to Starbucks which usually brews their coffee hot slowly cools it down, uh, leaves a very different type of taste. It's hot outside right now, everyone wants iced coffee. Ours is really great and delicious, uh, something different as compared to Starbucks. Right, and you don't um, steam your milk in big batches because it tends to separate and that's just horrors in the coffee? It does, pan. it does. You know, customers like to feel like each drink is made specifically for them. It takes a little bit more training for a barista to actually make a drink one cup at a time instead of uh, making it for a large group. So um, it takes a little bit more effort on our side, right. but the customers really appreciate that. Service also a key edge. You feel like Starbucks is kind of slow? Oh, yeah. Well, slow, you know, they're not, maybe not as efficient as they could be. Uh, I also went to business school, studied operations management, so that was something that I keyed in on right early on was making sure that we get people right. in and out quickly. And rule number two of competing with a giant, use your personal brand. So I see you make your personal appearance, the shock of black hair, the frame to the glasses. It's even on this uh, logo here. Yeah, you know, it's uh, two coffee cups and a mop of hair, but people say it looks like me. I don't know if that's a face or whatever, but uh, I take it as a compliment. It's a, it's a cool, quirky little logo that allows me to in interject myself into the brand. And uh, the store's called Gregory's Coffee, and then you, you, your regulars are called Gregulars, and you hand out uh, frequent flyer cards. Yeah, we have cards like this. They're a uh, regular card. Uh, a customer actually came up with that name, and we liked it. Instead of a regular, we call them Gregulars, and they get a kick out of the name. It's pretty Got it. fun. Pretty good. And yeah. rule number three, you say, be willing to start over. What were some of the mistakes you made, stuff you offered you didn't like? Yeah, you know, we came up with ideas. We're always trying to innovate. Obviously, not everything works, so we take a shot. You know, we tried uh, high-end teas. We invested in some new uh, ways to make tea and bought a lot of interesting teas from all around the world and tried to push it, and the customers really didn't buy into it as much as we hoped they would. So, uh, you know, we scrapped it. Started and sandwiches were a disaster? Because yeah. coffee is your core competency. We're a coffee shop. You know, it's really tough to make sandwich as well when we're really focusing on coffee so we uh we gave it a shot didn't work uh all right scrapped it you know six stores multi-million dollar business opening against starbucks directly today thank you for being with us gregory zamfotis good luck to you thank you so much okay